Hi guys, Dom Goes here, and I have a here pretty nice router, but it's not about it today. It's about you. Now, some of you, actually many of you, have complained to me that after having invested in a nice Wi-Fi router, you didn't get the performance at home that you expected. Now, the key word here is expectation, and today I'm going to set that right. When it comes to buying networking equipment, there are three speeds that you need to be aware of. The advertising speed, the ceiling speed, and the actual real-world speed. Now first, the advertising speed. Take a look at this one here. This is a AC2600 router, suggesting that it is a 802.11 AC router, which is true. And it has some 2600 megabit per second performance. That is completely wrong. Now here's why. This one here is a true dual band router, meaning it can work in two separate bands at the same time. It's also a top notch router, so on the 5 GHz frequency band, it has a ceiling speed of 1733 megabit per second, and on the 2.4 GHz band, up to 800 megabit per second. Now combine those two, you have some 2533 megabit per second, or roughly 2600 megabit per second. But a Wi-Fi client like this iPhone 6 here can connect to the router on only one band at a time. So the connection can only cap at either 1733 megabit per second or 800 megabit per second at a time. Now that is from the router's perspective. From the client itself, it's a different story. Now the phone here supports the 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard, but just the lowest tier of it and cap at only 433 megabit per second. So when the two connects, it is the ceiling speed of the phone. The rule is in a connection, the ceiling speed is that of the slower device because a connection is as fast as its weakest link. In other words, if you have an OO client at home, getting a top-notch Wi-Fi router will not help much with the speed, if at all. Now that brings us to the actual speed. There's many factors that affect the actual real-world speed of Wi-Fi. For example, the distance. The further away the client from the router, the slower it gets. There are also obstacles in between them, like wall or furniture. And there are interference from other devices that use the same signal on the same frequency band. And finally, hardware and software from different vendors might not work optimally with one another. So generally, in my experience of many years testing Wi-Fi router and access point, in the best case scenario, the real world speed is about a third of the ceiling speed. Oftentimes, much slower. So when you read the buffs like this one here, do not ever believe in the numbers after up to. They are never right. But the thing is, faster Wi-Fi speed always mean faster real world speed. They're just not as fast as they cracked up to be. Now, for more on this matter, check out my full write-up at CN.com. But the takeaway is, do not set your expectation based on what the vendors tell you. That's about as helpful as reading the beauty magazine for the articles. Instead, get your connection based on what I tell you. And I tell you what, no matter what I said on that magazine, you look fine the way you are. I know I do. And that's because I'm Dom Ngo, and this has been a quick explanation on what is real. Really.